Snow is melting, spring is right around the corner, and we are excited to get out there and start camping. We're looking at two folding solar suitcases today. This is the monocrystalline, this is the Eclipse, both 100 watts. As you can see, the Eclipse is 1.3 square feet smaller and about a pound lighter. But in these conditions, we're getting 89 watts out of this one and 79 watts out of this one. So we're gonna be saying goodbye to our tried and true and be taking the Eclipse on the road with us. This is Sherry. This is Hutch. And this is Hamlet. Together, we are freedom in a can. We use our Runigy solar suitcase in a variety of ways. Now we have 200 watts of flexible solar panels on the roof of Hamlet, but on a cloudy day, we can get some extra surface area by plugging our solar suitcase into the pigtail on the tongue, and that'll really boost up our wattage. On the other hand, if it's a hot summer day and we want to keep Hamlet parked in the shade, we can put the solar suitcase on a 20-foot extension cord and put it at the perfect angle to the sun, and that'll really boost up our battery. The third way that we use this panel is to charge up our Phoenix 300 power station. We use that power station as some backup power and also to charge our video editing laptop. And if you want to learn more about the Phoenix 300, we've got a product review in the description below. So the final way that we use the Eclipse solar suitcase is to boost up our 50 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery that runs our 12 volt ice co cooler here in the back of our truck. So normally while we're driving, our dual input DC to DC charger does the heavy lifting to charge that battery. But if we've been boondocking for a few days and the weather is warm and that compressor is running, we need to boost the battery back up. So we just pop that Eclipse solar suitcase on there and in just a couple hours, it's back up to 100%. With its smaller size and lighter weight, the Eclipse panel is just easier to move around and put away into its storage space in the back of our truck. The Eclipse panels use a more efficient solar cell. So even at the smaller size, it's outperforming our previous solar suitcase. The only downsides of the Eclipse solar suitcase are the same with any solar suitcase and that is security and wind. And we've regularly left our solar suitcase locked up to the trailer or to a picnic table, but really we're only doing this in boondocking situations. If we're in a crowded campsite, we really just don't worry about it. I mean, we can't be obsessed over something that only costs a couple hundred bucks. So wind can be an issue with these solar suitcases, potentially knocking them over, and if it's on rocky ground, it can crack the glass and ruin the panel. But if you take advantage of available resources, like use some rocks, firewood maybe, we like to use our water bladders to weigh the panel down, it won't be an issue. As a lighter, smaller, and more efficient panel that's easier to move around, the Eclipse model is truly a no-brainer. As always, reach out with questions and use our affiliate link and promo code CANLIFE in the video description below to get 10% off your Renogy purchases. We'll see you on the road.